Hello everyone, this is Hemin and welcome to another new video. Today we are going to have a chat about my every art supply that I used over the past year and what was my favorite material. So I have been gradually getting my new art supplies from last year. Last year in May, Australia officially became my second home. So I thought it would be okay to start make our computer room like a studio room. My final art pieces are always digital, but I still enjoy drawing traditional art. And I really, really love feeling the physical texture. So the first thing that I want to talk about is still I think I got it from my partner last year for one of Christmas gifts. Um, it is super portable, but I'm not sure if I want to bring it outside. I tried to set up this uh, easel on the floor and paint something when I was filming, but I realized my back was super sore and very painful. So I stopped doing that since then. But when I set it up on my desk, it helped my back pain and shoulder pain a lot because my back was able to be straight. It has also a container. As you can see, there's two buckles and there's enough room to store brushes or pencils or sort of the art materials. And it is not too heavy as well. I normally use it when I paint or draw on the painting pads. So I stick my painting pads here, it's my face. Or I also put my sketchbook uh, when I want to paint gouache. Oh, by the way, the brand name is Montmartre. I also have another easel from the same brand. Um, I got it from a member of my partner's family for my birthday gift. It looks more horizontal. I haven't used this easel a lot because I feel like this easel is not fixed stably. What I mean is to set up this easel, you have to be like this. So this wooden stick had to be stuck here, like this part. But when I paint or draw, I tend to lay my little finger, this finger, uh, to the paper or this wooden. So it keeps being fallen. Or sometimes I want to hold this artboard uh, when I paint like this like this. The interesting point is this easel has a door. It is quite spacious. So even though I'm not using this easel much at the moment, but I think I can use it for um, pencil cases or brush cases or to keep my art materials. Next one is this polymer clay. The next one is this polymer clay kit. Um, it has, as you can see, it has 57 colors and also contains lots of clay tools, which I feel really, really appreciated. And some stuff to make accessories like keyrings or earrings also it contains the silicon mold I'm not sure how long this material can sustain but I think they can give me some amazing opportunities to learn how to make a jewelry pieces I like this box contains a big range of colors but the amount is pretty limited so I feel like I can't make what I exactly think of I sometimes wish they were all white colors so I can paint on it 
I hope to study more about uh, clay art this year because I always find it looks interesting. Next one that I want to talk about is painting pads. I got and used these three different painting pads last year and I always think this one is the best. I really love the texture and the thickness. I think it is 300 GSM. There's a one paper left but I haven't used the last paper to film this video. I really love the feeling when I draw pencil, the color pencils after painting. The texture just remains. It just is so, so, so pretty. Uh, for example, these are my paintings. I draw them on the painting pads, these pads. If you can see really, really closer, the texture just remained. I used them only for gouache painting but I think watercolor on this pad will be super pretty as well. After I realized that this one was running out, I thought uh, I needed to get a new one and also I wanted to try a new pad. So I ordered this art pad spectrum watercolor pad online. I think I ordered it from Office Work. It is an office supply store in Australia and it has 300 GSM. When I was looking online, I thought the texture would look like this print, but when I actually painted it on it, the texture was very different than what I expected. When I painted the gouache for the first time on this paper, it just covered the texture. And when I drew with color pencils, I felt like it was too tough. I think because the size of the texture is much bigger. Oh, by the way, the name of the brand is Fabriano. I don't remember when I got this art pad, but I feel like because I didn't like art spectrum watercolor pad, so I guess that was the main reason why I wanted to get new art pad, which is Erado di Paolo field pads. These papers are less thicker than other two, but I really feel like this one was much better than the Artist Speculum watercolor pad. I mostly used this paper when I drew with oil pastels. So this is the oil pastel that I own. I received this oil pastel last year for my birthday gift. Around the last May, June and July, I used to love watching oil pastel drawings on YouTube and Instagram. It looked quite interesting because I had never used that medium before. I really liked how the artists were adding layers on the other layers. Their art looks so solid and I really really loved watching their uh, drawing progress. I still don't know how they did but sometime this year I want to try and experiment all pastel drawings again. I can't compare other brands with really it because it is the first oil pastel that I own in my life. But when I push the oil pastel on the papers, it felt like it felt so smooth. Also, it actually gave me so much improvement on my sketch style and the technique. Even though I was using different art medium, I felt more confident to do quick sketch. Supply is this jelly gouache set. I got it uh, in November in 2020 from Amazon. I think it was around 40 or 30. And I made the first video by accident, which it was about unboxing Miyakimi gouache set because the cover, this container, looks same, exactly same as the jelly gouache set. I used this Arctic gouache set by last November 2021 
and I've never opened it again. Surprisingly, my Jadic wash is not completely dry. As you can see, some colors look still moisture. I guess because I always spray it before I close the cover whenever I finish painting. And the main reason why I stopped using this jelly gouache is they are water-based. So whenever I apply new layer on the layer, I feel like the colors look so easily dissolved. So I found it was difficult to highlight with white colors for details. When I want to paint starting from dark to bright, that is the main point that I don't like about water-based gouache. But if you enjoy painting watercolors, I highly recommend water-based gouache because it dries much quicker than watercolor. <laughs> Next thing that I want to show is this acrylic gouache set from Golbain. It was very, 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 very expensive and I think it was the most fancy art supply that I ever purchased in my life. But I don't regret it at all. It performed super well and the vibrancy is super excellent, brilliant. And because it is acrylic wash, when I put a new layer, the colors aren't dissolved with other the bottom layers. And also I feel like the colors look more brighter even though the art text has similar colors. I'm pretty sure it is a Japanese brand so I'm gonna get some individual colors when I travel to Japan and I hope I can get them for a little bit cheaper price. Next is Xian. Firstly, I really love the brand called Stressed Wall. The texture of the papers is pretty similar to the painting pet called Fabriano that I showed just before. The thickness is, is 300 gsm, but the paper of the sketchbook looks more yellowish. I used this sketchbook for watercolor paintings, gouache paintings, pen, color pencils, basically mixed media. This sketchbook was my first fancy art journal, kind of art journal sketchbook in my life because I always used to get the sketchbook with spring. The main purpose of using this sketchbook was I wanted to practice drawing doodles with watercolor but it ended up with gouache painting media. Because the papers were so thick, like 300 gsm, when I paint watercolor or gouache, I didn't have to worry about damaging uh, two art pieces on the same paper, but on different page. And the next sketchbook is from Sketchno. I got it when I visited Handov in South Australia because the logo is here so it made me feel like I should start from this page like manga but I started from this direction this sketchbook is much thinner I think it is like under 200 gsm so I mainly used it for gouache painting or pen doodles or color pencils doodles and I mostly used one side of the each paper. It is my new sketchbook that I got a few weeks ago and I'm going to use it for this year. I can't tell how quality this sketchbook is but I can tell the brand Monty Marty is very affordable brand. I think I got it for around $6. The papers are thin. The GSM is 450 and the main use will be to draw pen illustration. When I bought this sketchbook last time, I got uh, these two pen brushes together from the same art supply store. The brand name is Koi and the name of the pen is called coloring brush pen and they made it in Japan. I haven't used them yet but I'm thinking of using for adding colors of the pen illustration. I think that's all I want to share in this video. So I really hope my art supply kind of review videos uh, can help your decision uh, in the future when you buy a new art supplies. Thank you so much for helping me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Have a wonderful, lovely day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.